All right, you wrong ones. It's your boy, old Jack. Right, here's the the crack. This is an updated uh, Vertex paint tutorial for grease pencil. Basically, uh, the information I was putting out on my other tutorials was incorrect. It was not a major big deal. You still got it working and everything. But I just this I just realized that I made a mistake and I just wanted to, to rectify that mistake and streamline your workflow in the future. Also, it helped me sleep better at night if I know that my uh, my stuff is on point, you know what I mean? Especially for my, my supporters of the channel. Right, let's just jump in there. Okay, let's start from scratch uh, to, to show the workflow, especially, if, for example, you might be a new user and you wanna be using the Vertex Paint and you wanna use it the correct way. Okay, so let's just start it as if you're a very new user. Let's go over File, Defaults, Load Factory Settings. So, okay, you, when you boot up Blender, obviously you get a splash screen and then just go General Settings in your face with this offensive box, delete the box, get the orientation uh, straight, so click on X, and now we've got this straight orientation. Add a grease pencil blank object. It's now in the scene. Let's call up in the scene collection area, which is this area uh, to the right. Click on grease pencil, and this just call this pencil. Right, so that's that done. The next thing you want to do, you see this squiggly icon here? This is your grease pencil icon here for layers. Just click on new layer, and let's call this layer pencil. Okay, so we've got our pencil layer here. Now I'm not gonna get into all the layers, etc. for this to, for this updated Vertex uh, tutorial. You can do that. I've got other tutorials that are correct that go through the layer procedure. This is just an updated for how to use the Vertex paint. So okay, you've got your our, our pencil layer. And then if we've got, then basically scroll down to this icon here, which is your material. You add a, a new material, and let's just call this pencil as well. Oh, let's just call this general, general material. Because that's basically, right, let's call this general material. So that's a general material. And then if we then click on our pencil and then just go to the mold, draw mold, this, uh, this icon appears, which is your, um, your vertex paint icon. And you've got your um, astro material icon. This is your vertex paint icon. Make sure it's clicked, click on it. Uh, this is the palette that originally comes with uh, Vertex Paint. Let's just delete this. You delete that with the X icon. Just delete that. And then now we've got new. And let's create a new one and we just call this pencil. So in this one, we're gonna just have a couple of pencils. Let's have a red pencil. We just, to add a pencil, we just press the plus icon. And if you wanted to remove it, you press the minus. And then let's just add a couple of pencils. So okay, we've got got a couple of pencils, we've got a normal standard, we'll have a normal kind of gray one as well. Okay, so that's our pencil. Okay, so we've got our pencil um, icons. Now if you want to use vertex paint, as I said before in other icons, I mean in, in, in the other tutorial, is you make sure, click on here, make sure use light, you can use it with the lights on, but you can very, very, you can't really see it that well. Um, so turn off use lights. Make sure this icon is up activated, this icon up here. And now we can actually see the colors of our, our vertex. Let's just scroll it up a bit. So now we can see our, our actual colors. Okay, so this is what you're, you're used to. You, you know to do this. Now what I was doing in my other, uh, in my other tutorial, was I was telling you that every time you create a vertex color, you have to create a new material. This is not the case. You only have to create one material right at the beginning. This is, what, this is where the mistake stems from. I assumed because I created one material at the beginning, I've got to create one for every single vertex color palette, which is a big error and adds a bit more time to your um, to your workflow. So. Here's the script. So, so now, if I just went back up here, and then I went um, and added a new uh, palette, and let's just call this uh, let's call this block color, for example. 
and then I added some new colors in this palette. See, I don't have to access any a new material at all. And I can continue doing this for any other material. So the point I'm getting at is you, do, you only need to create one material. So again, my apologies for uh, steering you guys uh, the, the wrong way. And the hope for this workflow is, this, use this workflow now and it's a stronger one and it's the correct way of using Vertex Paint, okay? All right, guys, I'm out. Laters.